How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and today I want to take a look at Piscal App. So what we're going to be doing with PiscalApp.com is uh, creating some of our own sprites. And we're not actually going to make uh, GIFs or GIFs, however you say it. Um, but we're going to make some basic uh, sprite sheets that we're going to import into RPG Maker MV um, by just making steel frames and then letting... Uh, letting the engine animate those still frames. So when we go to PiscalApp.com, you can create your own Piscal apps and export them in any resolution that you want. And um, the resolution that we want to go by, um, we don't have to determine at the beginning. Like if we look at Photoshop, you basically have to decide how big you want your picture to be from the beginning. And uh, and then resizing, you'd have to you know change the image size, and that could create uh, blurred uh, animations and stuff if you're stretching it out too much. So for for this, we're going to be using, I believe it is 42 or no 48. Yeah, I think it's 48 uh, by 48. So let me just try to go. Uh, canvas size and we're gonna go into uh, pixels and if I go 48 by 48 it should take away everything yeah and except for that one one two three four five six so let's undo that one two three four five six and you can see 48 by 48 is the size of one sprite in uh, MV Obviously, for uh, previous versions, I think it's 32 by 32. It's a lot smaller. So the pixel density increased in MV is, is really helpful uh, by adding, so you can add more detail. So we know that we're going to be exporting 48 by 48, but we also need to export in a certain order. We need to export with uh, one column of four, and we need to put them in a specific order. The first order needs to be facing down, then facing left, facing right, and facing up. So for this first image, it's basically just like arrow keys that you could use to create triangles. But you can, it's obviously only limited by your own creativity. So the first thing we want to do is draw a sprite that's facing down. So we would go here, create a new Piscal app, and then you can go through here and highlight to see all these things. It's not going to be super detailed overview of, of Piscal app. Not amazing with it. I just uh, started using it uh, recently. So we need to make our sprite that faces down. So we can use something like the circle tool and then draw some eyes and then draw a little nose and a little mouth. And then we're going to go like this. There we go, our facing down sprite. Then what we're going to do is click add new frame. And we can add, see its animation right here, but we're not going to be animating it through Piscal App. We're basically just going to uh, draw the, the sprites and then animate them, like I said, in MV. So we've got our sprite that's facing down. We need to make our sprite that's facing left. So go back to Piscal App. And then we're going to draw another circle. And this is when they're facing left. And then we'll add a new frame. I know you guys love my amazing art. <laughs> but please don't be too hard on me. So this is going to be our facing right, I think it's right. Yeah, then we're going to go to do the right one. Draw our eye, our nose, and our mouth. Wow, he is a gorgeous, handsome dude. All right. And we're going to create a new frame, and this is going to be where they're facing up. So we can just do our circle tool here. And... Awesome. <clears throat> There's also some cool things you can do 
Um, there's called the Lighten tool, and that'll just let you go over your um, your previous work, and it'll just randomly lighten the colors there. So if we wanted to go to another frame, and then let's let's fill in his hair a little bit more right here. And we'll lighten up his hair a little bit. It's got a nice stress gray color. Do the same thing here. And keep in mind every every pixel that is uh, not colored in is going to be transparent, which is a nice feature so that you don't have to change that inside of uh, Photoshop. So we've got that. And then this first one, we'll do some hair real quick when he's facing down. And then we can lighten that up. Now I'm I'm positive that your art's going to be better than this, <laughs> uh, but let's just go ahead and take a look. How would we turn th these uh, this art into like a uh, a sprite sheet? So we need to go over to where it says export, and we're going to go 40, uh, 48 by forty eight, and then we're going to say one column but four rows and then we're just going to download that so that's going to be downloaded and then we can cut this and what we're going to do uh, well we could actually open it from there but what I want to do is paste it into a temporary folder so we're going to go to game open folder and then paste it inside uh, characters for now. So we'll just paste that into characters and we'll rename it to, we're gonna call this one stick guy um, template. Alright and then inside of Photoshop or GIMP or whatever software you want, you could actually do it in paint because we're not going to be doing anything too crazy. We're just gonna create a new one and the file size you want to use for a sprite sheet is 576 by 384. So we're going to call this stick guy. So once again, 576, 384. And we can press Control Plus and uh, that way we can see uh, a bigger view. We can zoom in. What we want to do in Photoshop, you can do it in GIMP as well. And somebody mentioned it in the, in the comments is uh, allow the grid so we can go uh, new guide or no is it guide <clears throat> we need to enable the grid so we're gonna go over to edit and then preferences and then guides grids and slices and we're gonna select grid lines 48 by 48 we're gonna change these two numbers boom and then that'll let us have like a grid show pixel grid or we click on grid okay so now we can see the exact size we need so what we want to do is open up the sprite uh, template that we created right here and we can zoom in right here and what we're gonna use is the marquee tool and we're gonna highlight the entire picture and press control C and then we're gonna go back to our other grid and we're gonna just go right here inside there and paste it. We could also zoom in further to make this a little bit easier. Let's do that a couple times. There we go. And if you want you can go back to the Piscal app and create um, you know create a new Piscal and add the second frame to make them animated. For the sake of time, we're just going to copy this over three times. So once you've done this three times, one for the second animation, one for the third animation, unfortunately, without the use of plugins, you're limited to just the three frames for, uh, for, uh, for the same facing. But um, there are some plugins out there that will let you um, have more than three frames of animation. They came out a while ago. So we'll do the same thing. We're going to paste that there, and then we're going to take the third one. And there are many ways to do this. This isn't the 
I'm sure this isn't the very best way to, oops, this isn't the very best way to uh, make a sprite sheet. I'm just going to show you guys resources that, I, you know, that I figured out and found out ways that you can make your own sprites. Um, so after we've got that, we're going to save it as, we're going to select PNG, it's got to be a PNG file, and we're going to call the stick guy 01 PNG. We need to put it into our IMG characters folder. So we hit save. Okay. When we go into MV, if we load up our... Oh, there's one more thing we need to do. Bad habit of forgetting this. We need to take out the background layer. Otherwise, it's going to have a white background. So we just delete this last layer. There's many ways to delete it. You can drag it into the trash can, right-click, remove layer, right-click, delete layer. But you see we have the checker box background, white, black, or white, gray, white, gray, white, gray. That's going to give us that... Uh, um, transparent background. So let's overwrite that file we already created. Go to PNG, find our stick guy. It's alphabetical, so it should be here. Stick guy 01. And it's going to say, Do you want to overwrite? And we're going to say yes. Let's go back into MV. And then when we go to image, we're going to find stick guy. Stick guy template, or not the template, because, uh... wait, did I put it in the right folder? Let's save it as, where did I put it? Yeah, it should be, it should be in there. Stick guy 01, there we go. And now we've got our animation here. So we could put him down. We'll have him move randomly. And then we'll set, set him to run around kind of quickly. And uh, it's probably not the best background for him. So let's go to a different background because it's a very limited sprite there. There's our stick guy. And we'll just start right next to him. And there we have our stick guy who's running around. And he's not animated because we only uh, made one of his frames. But you can see how you could go about spending more time on animating him. And my character is set to a triangle right now because I was testing stuff out. But you could do all kinds of stuff once you've uh, made your, your sprites. You can apply filters to them like I did with these triangles. You made your own sprite there. So I'm going to go back to... We'll leave stick guy here to, to run around on the map. We'll go back to here. And uh, you can see I made this triangle one. And then I went into Photoshop and just applied filters over it. So that we have different uh, versions of the same sprite. So the same way you would reskin other sprites, you can do that. And um, let's fight some sprites here. But that's basically it. Just wanted to show you guys the website piscolapp.com. Pretty neat little website. And if you use the resolution 48 by 48 and you do one column and then, you know, four frames, uh, four frames or four rows, sorry, one column and four rows, then you can design each row individually and then just copy paste it into GIMP or Photoshop and continue to edit it there and add some more advanced features that are not uh, usable on, on Piscal App. So you can basically make the, the wireframe version of it on Piscal App. And um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Just wanted to show you guys, give you guys another resource that you can use. PiscalApp.com is free. So check it out. Um, if you come up with some cool looking sprites, let me know. And I'll definitely showcase them. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you want to see more stuff like this, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out driftwebgaming.com if you want to get more involved with the community. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.